Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in the last video regarding EVs, I got this question quite a bit. Now as your Nexon is almost two years old, uh, how is the battery degradation if it's any can you show that so let's get on to uh, this and I'll also talk about some of the things uh, uh, That I have noticed with LFP batteries that you should be aware and if you do those things Then you'll get amazing. What do you say? Uh, battery life and again, you won't even have issues Let's just open up the car and let's get into this. Okay guys This is the Odo and I just wanted to show you uh, right now It's 17% uh, battery life left and it's telling that it can still go about 49 kilometers yes easily it should go about 45 kilometers and trip b yesterday i uh, traveled for 54 kilometers but this trip a was from like let's say 100 percent charge so it has been driven 260 kilometers already and we have still about that 17 percent battery life left so easily i would say 45 kilometers more it can easily go so that brings it to a range of about 305 and as you can see uh, we have completed 21,522 kilometers in fact I have to do the what do you say that um, two year servicing that is sort of due so guys as I was uh, telling you yes uh, when I initially got the car I was getting a range of about uh, 275 to 80 ish and now as you can see it's been two years and now yes it is crossing slightly 300 kilometers uh, and so technically I would say the range hasn't reduced even one bit in fact some of the other users also who have been following me on twitter uh, they keep posting that they have run their vehicles for two two and a half years for example one of the users has run over 77,000 kilometers and he, he says that still his range is the same as what it was and i think so uh, with these tata cars as these are actually using lfp batteries there are some things that you need to uh, do and again it's sad that uh, even Tata Motors dealers etc do not talk about this and I think so this is inherent to LFP batteries in fact something that um, many people do and they have actually uh, issues with their batteries is that uh, they might have the car and let's say you have just driven it for, for about uh, 100 odd kilometers and let's say the battery is now at just 75 percent they just put it on charge uh, uh, this is tata likes to call this opportunity charging or something like that or maybe it's at 60 percent you just charge it for about one or two hours and put it till uh, let's say 75 percent and take out the charger and just drive this is something that is not to be done with the lfp batteries in fact lfp batteries as i've already told you you need to charge it to 100 percent to get the best efficiency and another thing is that uh, with LFP batteries, and this is not uh, uh, with NMC batteries, in this department NMC batteries are better, but even uh, with LFP batteries that most of the Tata cars use, uh, you got to actually drain them quite a bit down before charging it fully. For example, I particularly make it a point that I drain the battery below 25% whenever I'm putting to charge. Um, most of the time it's between 15 to 25%. But once every four or five months, I drain it down to even around seven, eight percent and then do the full charge. And that's why the battery life that I'm getting and the range that I'm getting on my Tata car is actually very good. Again, I don't know if this is inherent to Tata's EV, but LFP generally what I have heard is that they get the best if you are actually charging them fully to 100 percent and th those mini charges that people actually do uh, this is common thing that many people do who are new to evs is that they do that they must have, they just drive it for a little bit let's say 100 kilometers or whatever two three days and they see that the battery has fallen down to 65 percent this is put it on charge for a couple of hours it might be at 80 85 percent and they remove it and they just drive it and if you do this continuously you're bound to get battery issues uh, what do you say calibration errors etc because lfp batteries as i've told you do not like this thing uh, you need to charge them fully to 100 percent that way the bms is calibrated and that cell balancing and everything that is very very important is done properly at least on tata cars so i have been actually doing this uh, since i've got my car uh, generally uh, before charging i maintain that it goes below 25 times not always sometimes i guess i might need to charge at 40 percent also if i have to do a long drive particularly if i have to drop my daughter to hostel uh, which is about a round trip of 140 kilometers so i do that but i don't make it a point of doing that always so again 
uh, make sure again if you're having LFP batteries charge it fully to 100% and also before charging uh, drain it a little bit at least below 20 or uh, 25% and then fully charge then you'll get actually good life so guys to summarize I would say uh, as you saw with my car at least it's been two years one month since I have purchased it I do not have any battery degradation in fact the range that I'm getting is slightly better than when I purchased the car because I know now how to drive the EV more effectively and I've uh, even known quite a few people who have driven their Nexon uh, EVs for over 70,000 kilometers etc and they say that they did not have any degradation uh, in terms of rain so the thing is that uh, if you do take care of these LFP batteries properly uh, you will get actually very good uh, range and the degradation is actually very very less so I'm not worried bugger but again if you do not take care of these LFP batteries just charge it randomly uh, do that opportunity charging etc then yes you can have issues and I'm saddened that the Tata dealers etc do not stress on the proper charging methods I read a lot of form, forums interacted with a lot of uh, people who are already having Nexon EVs etc and I came to know about that that's why I've been following that uh, but again I feel uh, Tata dealers and these car people should actually educate people who are buying EVs what are the best practices to charge the battery to get the most out of the EVs so anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video take care guys